think if it's one thing that I've learned from Dr. Porter is that it takes a lot more than what you think it does. You know, coming into this lab, I was very overwhelmed. I think he was uh, a little naive about what the research experience is about, which is to be expected. Uh, he's really matured and learned a lot. You know, he's really become a really good researcher. He has potential to become a great researcher. He's uh, going to give a second national presentation this fall. Uh, this is a Society for Neuroscience meeting in San Diego, uh, which is an amazing experience for an undergraduate student. I feel that my potential is gradually increasing every day as I come into the lab. Um, you're continually learning your critical thinking skills as well as your research skills. There's a lot of stigma about professors and scientists. They're all just kind of up there and hard to talk to or whatever. But that definitely hasn't been my experience with Dr. Lloyd. Kristen has uh, learned how to do um, most of the techniques that we use in the laboratory. So she's a very integral member of the lab. I was really surprised how easy it was uh, to get started. I really just, I emailed about four professors whose work I thought was interesting. What we're doing is sort of an internship because they're learning how to do research, which is what they would do um, as a graduate student. Dr. Ryan is a great mentor. He has the ability to teach me at the level that I am at. I think what she's brought to the lab more than anything else uh, is certainly that sense of youth and optimism that we look for in undergrads that keeps us all going in a certain way. In addition to that, they're really smart. Uh, and so sometimes they'll come up with some creative way of solving a problem that I haven't thought of just because they're looking at it with fresh eyes. Being in a lab has helped me think about how the things that I'm learning in classrooms apply to the real world. And so it's allowed me to um, practice what I've learned. For my mentor, uh, personally, I've learned to always be ready to uh, accept whatever outcome you get, because with research, you never know. When Corinne first entered the lab, I asked her if she mind uh, being involved in a project that was um, somewhat difficult. It's a project where you have to count literally thousands of little tiny circles. And to her credit, she stuck it out. You just have to be positive and do your thing and just have faith that, okay, keep trying and trying and trying until you get the outcome you're looking for. If you haven't started research yet, now is the time to get going.